How many Christians do we have among us today? Show of hands, Christians, okay, great, great. You know, the prophet Jeremiah said in Jeremiah 6 that there's a great danger in healing the hurt of the people only slightly, saying peace, peace when there's no peace, putting Band-Aids on something that's much worse than most of us are ready to acknowledge. Let me tell you something, with all love and humility, if you're more concerned about the trampling of the Constitution than you are by the fact that 50 million babies have been slaughtered in our nation since 1973, then there's something wrong with your worldview and there's something wrong with your heart. If you're more concerned about your pocket, your bank account, deficit spending, as important as all those things are, if you're more concerned about that than you are by the fact that our nation is getting ready to redefine marriage, the most basic foundational aspect of how, what God created society to be, we're getting ready to do this, if you're more concerned about that, more concerned about your wallet, then can I humbly tell you that you are part of the problem. The problem today is not the devil, it's not Barack Obama, it's not the humanists. The problem today is a church that is lukewarm, a church that has lost its zeal for the Lord of hosts, a church that's redefining right and wrong. We're the ones of the problem. The fault is with the salt, the blight is with the light. 50 million dead babies. And I don't know if I even heard anything said about that today. As much as I have, did they say something about it? Oh, thank God for it. Thank God for it. But I've been doing interviews, talking to Christians all throughout this place, and the vast majority of people are far more concerned about whether there's a socialist in the White House or what he's gonna to do to their bank accounts than they are about the fact that 50 million babies have been sacrificed at the altar of our own convenience as a nation. And most of us, and I'll include myself, spent part of my life silently observing the Holocaust. 